Hey guys, what's going on? It is Reds opening day. It does not feel like it at all. I know everybody keeps saying, last time the Reds opened on the road, they won the World Series in 1990. That's a sweep right back there behind me. That's true. But also, that team for from 1985 to 1988 finished in second in the NL West. So they were a veteran team. Pete Rose was the manager. You know, we had a whole 89 season with Pete Rose when no happened. Lupinel came, took over, had the nasty boys, had a great run. Had my boy Sabo, who I got his jersey on right now, which you can't see. It says 17, but that's what it is. So, yes, that has happened. This season, I've had people going, what are they trying to do? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> They're trying to dump salaries. We know that much. Are they actually trying to win? Eh, sort of. But here's some hope. If Hunter Green and Nick Lodolo are in the running for Rookie of the Year, we got a shot. If Nick Senzel and Mike Moustakis can actually stay healthy, we got a shot. Now, when I say a shot, I shot at, I shot at being 500. I shot at making the playoffs because the playoffs are expanded. So who knows? But here's being optimistic. Opening of the season. It's not your normal opening day. We haven't had an opening day parade in three years. I mean, we will have one next week, but it's still not opening day. Really weird here in Cincinnati. But I'll be watching them tonight, 8 o'clock on ESPN, taking on the world champion Atlanta Braves. So I'm being optimistic. You have to be. It's the end of the year. You know, by April, if we're out of it, then we all can be pessimistic. Other than that, go Reds.